Would you even be with the kid if I rode the bus? If the charms on the chains wasn't cold enough? If the kicks that I owned were scuffed? If my waves didn't spin like a nigga don't own no brush? Know the vibes? What's good, y'all? It's Newt, your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. In this video right here, I'm gonna be showing you how I got my 360 wig. Right, so before we get into this video, I just wanna let y'all know, in this video, y'all gonna see mad different brushes, products, and do-rags. None of that matters. Only thing that gets you waves at the end of the day is brushing. You have to put in the brush work. This is the only thing that gets you waves. It's no product could help you get waves. No for me no do rag help you get waves you have to brush this the only thing that gets you waves is the brush for me everybody around my way been asking me hey yo new how you get your waves on for me how you get them spinning how you get them in, on the back on the sides for me and i'm gonna show you how i got my waves. I got, it's time to get spinning my guy for me ladies love them for me they like brushing yeah that's on another video but just yeah just keep watching i'm gonna tell you how i got my waves explain to y'all what i did to get mine so when it come to getting waves the most important thing y'all gonna need is brushes y'all need brushes all right you got a soft brush you gonna need a medium brush and you're gonna need a hard brush. For me, I don't really use the hard brush unless I'm wolfing, but we'll get into all of that. that ain't, that's a whole nother video. Y'all don't gotta worry about wolfing right now. I know y'all gonna ask me what is the soft brush used for? What is the medium brush used for? The soft brush is used for to make your hair look good. It lays your hair down. So, like, if you're going out and you want your hair to look good, for me, you just use it soft. This is gonna distribute the products evenly across your hair. We you put the products in your head, for me, when you're going out, you just brush it with the soft to lay it down and make your, for me, your waves pop. The medium brush is your best friend though, honestly. This is what gets you the waves, the medium brush. Cause it gets to the lower base of the hairs. So when you brush your hair with this one, this is your best friend, honestly. It's gonna get you the waves that you want. This just lays it down. But for most hair textures, the medium is gonna be your best friend to get waves. So before I begin to tell y'all what y'all need, I know y'all gonna ask me what kind of brushes do I use. So I use a CYM brush. For me, my guy King Coombs sent me these. For me, sent me a package of these a minute ago. Real good brush, real good soft brush. And for my medium, I use a CQP, crown quality brush. And I tend to like curve brushes more now since for me, since I got deep into the wave game. I, I like these because they cover more ground when you're brushing your head. So I feel like you got to brush less to get waves. I don't know, but I just like these. It's really whatever y'all want to use. It's, it's all preference, but this is just what I use. I use curved brushes now. So now that we got the brushes out the way, the next thing y'all going to need to pick up is some do-rags. All right. You don't need a million do rags. That's just me. I I got mad do rags. All right, for me, when you go get them, make sure they silk satin. Make sure the do rags are silk. You don't want that other stuff because it really it just eats the oils up in your hair when you put your oils in and it dry your hair up. That's what I realized. For me. You don't want that. So after you pick up your do rags, the next thing you're gonna want is some pomade. You want something that's gonna hold your hair down. All right. So when I started off, I'm getting my waves. I I use this right here, three sixty style. For me, that's what works for me. But you could use this right here. You could use this. You could use this or you could use that. For me, you just want, what you want to do is you just want to get what works for you. Don't get what it works for somebody else because everybody hair texture is different. So you use what works for you and you figure out what works for you. And then you just right. use that. When you get your pomade, you don't want to use too much. That's all you really want to use, honestly. That's all you need about this and what? About a penny size. You don't want to use too much, then your hair start looking crazy. So now that we got our brushes, our pomades, and our do-rags out the way, the next thing you're going to need is a haircut. So you want to go to your barber and tell them you want a 1.5 or 1.5 for me. You don't want to cut it too much lower than that or too much higher because you want to train your hair. You feel me? The little hairs that you got on the 1.5, you want to train the bottom layer of your hair. That's where the waves come right, from. So you fresh out the barber shop. You got that 1.5 for me, real clean cut. Now it's time to put in that work. You got a brush. You want to brush for at least an hour, at least an hour a day, honestly. So you want to brush 15 minutes a day, four times a day. For me, that's one hour right there. You want to repeat this step for about every day for about three to four weeks. Then after, for me, the month is up, you want to cut your hair down again to a 1.5. Then you want to just keep brushing. I know it sounds repetitive, but that's the only way you're going to get waves. There's no way around it. There's no loopholes. You guys just got to brush. That's all it is, too. Basically, that's how you get waves while you're in school. You just want to get your do-rags, your brushes, your pomades, get that haircut, and you just want to brush. After you're done brushing, you want to brush. After you're done brushing and brushing, then you want to rag up. So, yeah, that's really how you get waves for me. You just want to brush your hair. After you get your materials, your brushes, and your, your do-rags and pomades, you just want to brush. After every session, if you're not brushing, you need to have your dewy on. For me, you need to have your dewy on. That's how you save your progress. 
Don't ever go to sleep without your do rag, without it on. You don't want to do that because that just messes your process up. It throw you back. All right. So, and I know this video is called How to Get Ways While You in School. So, if I'm, I know because I'm in school myself and I don't really got time to brush like that. But you make time. If you really want waves, you're going to make time. So that's what you do for me. When you wake up in the morning, before you brush your teeth, you want to grab that brush and brush your hair. After you do that, for me, you go to school, do your work for me. At lunch, you brush. That's another 15 minutes. That's 30 minutes right there. You come home for me, or you got practice for me. 15 minutes before practice, brush your hair. That's 45 minutes for me. That's why I say you can make time before you take a shower. After you take a shower, brush your hair. That's an hour right there. It's really not that complicated, but you just got to brush. You just got to want to do it. So, yeah. All right. So, I'm about to unrag right now and show y'all what I'm working with. All right. For me. So, this is what I'm working with. I brush my sides straight down towards my ear. For me. My front straight down. My sides straight to my ear. For me. And I got some forks and stuff that I'm working on, too. So, for me. Y'all got any tips? Just let me know. For me, that's all it is. This is how to get waves while in school or white. For me, just how to get waves, period, honestly. But yeah, for me, any questions, concerns, comment below. Y'all know I reply to all my comments. I've been doing that for me. Just let me know what y'all thinking. Make sure y'all leave a like, subscribe, comment, share with a friend, all of that. For me, I appreciate it. I love every one of y'all. And I'm out. Thank you.